Yo, welcome to the wonderful world of Hungry Heath. Now I am not a classically trained chef, but I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is my wife, the sensational Shelly Eats Steak. Now today, she's got a brilliant Brilliant recipe she wants to demo for y'all. Take it away, baby. So, y'all know all about caramel macchiato. And several of you know, and if you've watched our lives, we've made ice cream from Keto Chow a couple times on the line. So what we're going to do is show you how we're gonna turn this delicious flavor into an ice cream. Now, um, if you haven't heard of Keto Chow, I mean, what is your life? Yeah. Second, this is their newest flavor, Caramel Macchiato. It was created by the geniuses over at Two Crazy Ketos, Joe and Rachel. Definitely give them a follow if you haven't. They're amazing. So they developed this flavor, and it's just like a Caramel Macchiato from any great coffee shop. And even the mediocre coffee shops, huh. but it's better. So I usually have it as part of my coffee. Well, Heath doesn't drink coffee. I know, right? Team coffee, hashtag. Um, so I thought I'm gonna get him to have this as an ice cream, and then we would show you how we're going to do it. Now, if you don't know yet, this is coming out on Wednesday. We released a video on Sunday, his Emma's Journey Week 22 update. Go over there, give it a like, make sure you're subscribed, comment on there for a chance to win a taste of this. You'll get a free sample of the smaller ones, but a free sample one. We're going to pick winners this Friday, May the 21st, on our live. So tune in that night for the drawing. And in the meantime, we're gonna get started on how I make this into a scrumptious ice cream. Yeah, I'm excited. I love me some ice cream. Yes. And like you said, I'm not a big fan of coffee, but this stuff is pretty, pretty tasty. I could eat this all day and be happy. Oh yeah. And what you need, and we I just do it real basic, y'all. This is gonna be quick and easy. I use a stick of butter. Yes, a whole stick of butter, because it should be creamy and delicious. And this is gonna do it. I'm gonna melt that in the microwave. Tip, I've learned, only do it in 30 second increments, like 30 seconds, stir it up, maybe 30 seconds more, stir it up, and if it's not melted by then, then do 10 second increments, because you don't want your delicious butter to explode in the microwave. We painted the walls. Yeah, trust me. We've learned the hard way. And then we're gonna use one scoop of the caramel macchiato, and then you need about 14 to 16 ounces of water, depending on how thick and rich you want the ice cream. And we're gonna blend everything in our Vitamix, and then we're gonna pour it into our, uh, what is it, Cuisine Art? How Cuisine Art, Cuisine Art, I don't know. Cuisine Art? This Cuisine thing. Art? We're gonna pour it in here, now I've got the, actual tumbler in the freezer, so I don't like to pull that out until the very last minute. Okay, so let's get the butter melted and then we'll start the next stop. Okay, so I've got my butter melted here. Now, I just get it to where it's melted. Oh yeah, look at my nails. I'm gonna pour my butter in first. And then I like to use a measuring cup because then I refill this with water to help wash out the rest of that butter. And you want your water to be warm, like lukewarm. You don't want it cold, but you don't want it hot. Just a nice lukewarm. And I'm going to pour, usually I do like about half of that. And then I'm going to get my scoop here. Comment below, let us know, have you tried this caramel macchiato yet? 
What's your favorite way of cooking it or making it? So far, mine is still the coffee, but I know it's, uh, that one wasn't all the way full. I saw an air gap. I know uh, Joan and Rachel have made recipes for it too, a cannoli dip. It's on keto chow dot xyz they have lots of recipes already for it so i'll definitely be going on there to try some of it but i've heard the dip is really good the cannoli dip so now i'm going to pour the rest of that water and i'm going to do a little bit more water just to kind of wash out my cup here Got away with me. And then you put this on here. And I always make sure that it's on the lowest setting and on the low variable for the Vitamix. And I turn it on. And then all I do is I slowly increase my Vitamix. Okay, so I let it go up to the high speed for about 30 seconds. I just want it to really well combine. And then I slowly move it back down to the lowest setting. And then I'm going to turn it off. I'm just going to let it sit here. I like to make sure there isn't any sticking to the sides. And now I'm going to get my uh, frozen container out. Okay, I got my, freeze, my frozen tub out of the freezer. And you just simply put it in here. This works by just putting that upside down and you put this other exterior cover like that and then you're going to go ahead and turn this on that will start turning that which is what you want and then I'm going to get this and I just slowly start pouring it I don't want to do it too fast want to all slowly start getting cold and typically it takes about 20 minutes for this to get to the ice cream consistency that we like so I just let it run and I've done it enough to where I usually can tell by the sound when it's gotten to the point where it's ice cream so we'll let that run and we'll check back with the, you in a few minutes So it's ready y'all. I'm going to turn it off Oops. and then you see how that is. Mm. Looks perfect to me. I love the color of this too. So are you hiding? No, I was reading the back of the bag. <laughs> Seriously, because it says net carbs equals total carbs minus fiber. I was telling you how to de deduct it. Okay. So then we could start serving this up, dear. Rock and roll. Do it to it. Ooh, that's gold. Yeah, that's like perfect to me. What do you think? It looks good. I'll let you know in a second how good it is, though. Yeah, I need this a spoon. is awesome. I need some tools. Oh my goodness. I love me some ice cream. Yes, you do. It's like his favorite thing. But you know, well, it's I, one of. I always felt like I didn't want to spend that kind of money on keto ice cream, so I never would buy it. Well, well, I did buy it once. I forgot. I did do it once. But I was like, it just wasn't worth it. This what I like about Keto Chow, not only is it freaking delicious, y'all, like this is really, really tasty, is that, uh, oh, here, this is yours. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> is the, also the great thing about it is you're getting some vitamins and nutrients. When you buy those Keto ice creams, all you're getting is just, to me, what I call just junk ice cream. Because there, there's really no nutritional value to it. 
But on this, you're getting great flavors, vitamins and minerals. Each serving gets you one third. And so this is giving you, now we're splitting one of them. So one sixth of our daily values, which as a treat, come on, how many treats do you know besides eating, you know, bacon and steak is going to give you good nutrients that you need. Well, that's another thing too. Is when we did, the few times we did buy those keto ice creams, we had to leave it sitting on the counter for about a half an hour for it to soften up before we could serve it. Yeah. Well, this only takes half hour to make. You know, we're waiting the same amount of time, but this tastes so much better and it's better for you. Yes, I really think so too. I'm gonna move this over. And there will be some that'll stick to the side of the container, but you know what? In 30 minutes, it'll be soft enough again. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, and I don't get any kind of coffee twinge to it or nothing. No? I just, I just what does it taste like? Deliciousness. Like <sighs> angels dancing on my tongue. Okay, I don't know what angels taste like. Like this. Well, some people say it kind of reminds them of caramel popcorn. I don't remember that. It's been so long since I've had popcorn, I really can't tell you the truth. All I know is this is good, and I want more of it. I do get that, though. A little bit of caramel popcorn. You get that heavy caramel. Mm-hmm. Mm, this is so good. And it, you know, the, the texture and everything kind of reminds me of soft serve. Mm-hmm. It does kind of give a, a soft serve. Now I've heard if you make uh -oh. it with brain freeze. Oh, I heard if you make it with like heavy cream or almond milk or something besides water, that it does make it a little creamier. But when we've done it that way, yeah, it is creamier. But I I still like the butter better. The butter seems to bring out the flavor better. And to me, I can't have a lot of heavy cream uh, because it just doesn't sit well with me. So this is perfect this way. And then we never use or buy almond milk because he can't have almonds. So then he couldn't even have the ice cream. Well, another thing I like about using the butter too is sometimes it'll get a little uh, congealed or little chunks of it in there also. Yeah. And you get like almost like a cookies and cream kind of feel to mm -hmm. it. I always look forward to those and hoping I get them in my bowl. <laughs> so good. This is really good, y'all. Okay. I hope you like this. Definitely with the caramel macchiato. I mean, any way you eat it, it's going to be great. Again, go to ketochild.xyz for more recipes. Yeah. But I hope you do try our ice cream recipe. This would work great for any flavor, but definitely try it with the caramel macchiato. Make sure you go to that video, which we're going to link at the end, and then enter that contest because I want to see so many people win a cute little bag or sample size of the caramel macchiato. So definitely go over there, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment so you get a chance to win a packet too. Do it now. Trust me. <laughs> You're going to want this. Don't even do me a favor though. Make sure you click that subscribe button. That way next time we make something delicious, y'all be the first to know about it. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you love what I'm doing. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you really think. <laughs> we love chatting with all you people. And don't forget to tune in every Friday night, 6.30 Central, when me and the sensational one over here will make something awesome. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Mm, this is so good.